Hello, this is Simon from bonguitar.co.uk and this is part one of my tutorial on how to play the popular guitar solo, Classical Gas. Um, it's in the key of A minor and starts with this introduction which is played fairly freely. Um, so starting with bar one uh, at three four time, we need to place um, the fingers on the first fret, second string, C, and um, the second fret, third string, A. So what we're doing, we play the open fifth string bass note, and we're playing the third and second string together. We play the third string again, and then the second string again. So that is... Uh, into bar two, we have a G chord, so we drop the third finger down onto the third fret of the sixth string, giving us G. We're playing the sixth string and the open third string and the open second string. That's which lasts for two beats. We then drop in to the second fret sixth string F sharp for single bass note, and then into bar three. We're then playing the open sixth string, the third string and the second string, all open strings. Play the uh, third string second fret A, and then the third string open. And then into bar four, um, we're playing a partial A minor chord, which is the fifth string open, the second finger on the fourth string second fret, and the third finger on the third string second fret and you can arpeggiate that um, so from bar one we have bar five we're playing uh, again the fifth string open the third string second fret and the second string first fret that's giving us A and C so we play third string again second string again um, so bar five and indeed bar six are actually repeats of bar one and two so that is bar six is the partial G chord again second finger second fret sixth string for the bass note into bar seven, which is the sixth string, third string, and second string open. Second fret, third string A, third string open G, back to the second fret A, and then open second string. So bar seven is the timing on that, the, the first four notes are quavers or eighth notes so we count it as one and two and then three single beat on that last note bar eight we're back to our partial a minor chord which is the fifth string open second finger fourth string second fret and the third finger third string second fret you'll notice that in the music there is a pause or a hold sign over that and we've now moved into 4-4 four, four time. We now have three beats arpeggios so we're playing the third finger sixth string third fret and the third string open and the second string open. Fifth string open second finger on the third string second fret and the first finger on the uh, the second string first fret. second finger on the uh, fifth string second fret B, third string open and little finger on the third fret second string D. So that now gives us into bar nine. Um, so we have the third finger on the fifth string third fret C and the first string open. 
-hmm. On the second beat, we play the third string open, that's the G. Place the little finger on the second string, third fret, D. So that is. The third beat is C and A, so we put the first finger on the C on the second string, first fret, and the second finger on the third string, second fret. And then we're playing the little finger, playing the D at the third fret, second string. So that, that bar nine is. And bar 10, we're changing to two four time. So we have the second finger on the second fret, fourth string, E. The first finger then plays the C on the first fret, second string. And then we're playing the open second string B with a slight pause on it. Um, so that's the introduction. So we can play. Then at bar 11, the tune proper starts. Um, you can play around with this introduction if you want. I mean, many people that add one or two ornaments to it, so you could possibly play on the first bar. Put a little hammer on. Maybe bar five, something like. So that opening is fairly flexible. Um, so that's the left hand. And now I'll move over to the right hand. So at bar one, we're playing the chord with the thumb, index and middle fingers. And again, what I do, I arpeggiate it some. Play the third string, second string, sixth string with the thumb, fingers playing the third and second string again. Thumb again, thumb, index and middle. Now I play the third string with the index finger, then play the open third string with the middle finger. And then the chord is fifth, fourth and third strings with the fingers. We're repeating. Now the run I'm playing. So I'm playing the chord with the thumb, index and middle fingers. Index finger, middle, index, thumb. And then the chord on bar eight, again, just thumb, index and middle fingers. The arpeggiated chord is thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle. Bar nine, I'm playing the outer note with the third finger of the right hand and then the thumb playing the fifth string. Third string with the index finger, second string with the middle finger. Now the chord coming up, we could actually either play it with the two fingers, that's the index and middle fingers, or you could use your thumb on one of the fingers. I use the thumb on that one, so I'm playing thumb and index finger, and then the D that follows it on the end of bar 9 with the middle finger, and then bar 10, thumb, middle, and then index finger. 
then as I say, we're, we're now into the main tune, which we'll be covering in part two. Um, so I'll just play through that opening. Embellishment. to the main portion of, of the piece and that's where I'll leave uh, classical gats uh, on this tutorial and I hope it helps you to play this piece music and tabs are available free from my website www.boltonguitar.co.uk thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next video bye for now <laughs>